Hey guys, so um, I think it was yesterday that I got the request to do a My Cheer Story. And so it, um, so uh, I found the tag for it and I decided to do it today. And this may be a really quick video because I have to do, I have to watch the State of the Union in 15 minutes for extra credit for my government class. We have to fill out like this bingo sheet. Like whenever he says a word, we write down like what time he says it, and then see if we can get bingo. Okay. Anyways, um, I have the questions right here. And my hair is messed up. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah. So I will get started. Okay. How old were you when you started cheer, and how did you start? Okay. Um. Well, when I like actually officially started cheer I was 13 yeah but I used to do like at my actually I brought my shirt down um at my elementary school they had like a mini clinic for sports um I don't think you could play a sport in elementary school um like because it was it was a private school and it was like elementary school through high school and so I guess maybe we couldn't play sports at the elementary school level or something I don't know but they had a mini clinic thing and I went I always went to the cheerleading one and I don't I remember how many years I did it for I think I did it for like two or three years but here's the shirt it's all iron I mean not iron it's all wrinkly opposite of iron um yeah it's a size 14 and on it it says warriors cheerleading mini clinic and yeah, it has like a little picture. <laughs> so yeah, like we basically learned um, cheers from the high school girls, and we like cheered at the basketball games for because like they had main things for a lot of sports, and we would cheer at the mini clinic games for the basketball teams. And yeah, I remember <laughs> there's every learned some cheers. I still remember some of them, and. Um, I remember, like, there, the me and Beck performed at halftime and stuff, and then there's this one routine where, like, I did the cartwheel. I was so excited. Like, me and this other girl did the cartwheel. I don't you could do one. It was really funny. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how did I start? Um, okay, well, I guess I started Marlins. Um, I, like, when I was younger, I went to this, um, like sports center kind of thing where I took swimming lessons and it's really cool because our first competition is always there and so it's like going back and then read blah blah I can't use um uh yeah I went there for swimming lessons and like when you would walk in there'd be like a huge like hall and then like down you came to my hand like you walk in and then to the left there'd be like these huge windows and then below, like at the bottom floor or whatever, there was this humongous gymnastics center. And I would be like so jealous. And I'd, I'd always ask my mom if she would sign me up to go, but she never did because apparently I quit a lot of stuff when I was younger. Like I quit ballet and um, I guess the only thing I quit, I actually only quit ballet. I technically quit piano, but I started it up again, so technically I guess I didn't quit. But yeah, so my mom never signed me up. I was very depressed. Not depressed, but like sad. <laughs> and um, and then when I moved here, one of my friends did Marlins, and she was like, you should join. And then me and my two other friends, we were going to join, but we never did. I guess we were too scared to try out or something, but then I eventually tried out... Um, in eighth grade and now I'm in tenth grade. Wait, was it eighth grade? No. Yeah. Yeah, I tried out in eighth grade. But it was like the end of eighth grade because you try out in like May. Yeah, I think so. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> um Okay. Number two, what level was your first team and what skills? My first team was a level one team. A junior level one team on travel. Skills we had, tumbling wise. Me and like a couple other girls could do a round off. We had 
some like four, we basically have like we had four drawers, cartwheels, some front walkovers. Um, yeah, we did for jumps. We did I'm trying to remember. We did the hurdler, pike, and then double toe. For stunts, we we did like okay at the beginning of the season we were supposed to do like a basket toss up to a um extension for a pyramid like with the center fire then we changed it to just a prep and then push up to an extension press up to an extension i mean so we had like preps teddy bears um thigh stands yeah okay um number three what's your favorite thing about cheerleading um hmm i, I want to say like okay this question Okay, for this question, I'm going to answer, like, like about the actual routine itself. My favorite part of the routine is probably stunts. I just, like, I just love stunting for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm a back spot. I don't know. I just love stunting or tumbling. I love tumbling, too, but that always tires me out. So I think I'm probably going to go with stunts or, like, the dance emotions because I love people's dances. They're so cute. Or maybe cheerleading mixes, because I love listening to mixes. Sorry, my answer is like, ugh, crazy. Okay. Who do you cheer for? Question number four. Who do you cheer for now, and what team slash level? Okay, now I cheer for Marilyn Marlins All-Stars, and I am on Tide, the Junior Level 2 team. Yeah. Okay, five. Are you an All-Star, High School, or Rec Cheerleader? Do you think there's a difference? There's a difference between all-star, high school, and rec cheer. I'm an all-star cheerleader. I was supposed to do high school cheer, but I never did. I'm doing it hopefully next year because I may not be doing Marlins next year. So, yeah. But I For varsity, for my school, we need to talk, and I just started working on text. So, and, okay, never mind. Um... I do think there's a difference. All star is like way more competitive, and high school is kind of. I mean, high school you only have like, apparently you only have like a couple competitions. I feel like, like high school is more, like cheering on the sidelines, but it's, it's like not like like go team, but like actually like performing on sides and stuff. Well, all star, like, you just compete and that's it. Like, high school has two. Um, has two, like, fundamental reasons, and rec, it's, I mean, I guess it's, I feel like rec is more closer to all-star than high school is closer to all-star, because that's only usually just competing, but there's also, like, I mean, I guess rec and high school are kind of similar, too, because I'm pretty sure that rec also cheers like, rec cheerleading teams, cheers for rec, like, football teams and stuff. I don't know, because I've never been a rec cheerleader before, but I know that my friend used to be a rec cheerleader, and there's also, like, for near where I live, there's a rec cheer team, and then there's a rec football team, like, in, like, the same, like, group, kind of. I don't know how to describe it. Like, they're, like, they're, like, the same, like, I don't know how to describe it. Like, it's, it's like, they basically... Like, it's like they go to the same school, kind of. Like, they have, like, the same name. So, I don't know if, the, I don't know if like, the cheerleaders cheer for them. I don't know. Um, okay. <laughs> Question number six. What do you think about the cheer community here on YouTube? Um, I actually really like the cheer community here. I, I don't know. I don't really have an opinion on them. I feel like most of the people have fools, and I kind of get jealous. But it's whatever. Um... I don't know, I don't really have, like, an opinion. Everyone here is good. Even if you just have, like, a forge role, you're still, like, learning. It's still whatever. Like, it doesn't really, I feel like it doesn't really matter what level you're on. You're still gonna, like, progress. It's not like you can get worse. Well, I mean, you can, I guess. But it's not likely. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. Apparently, I'm getting worse. My tumbling coach told me yesterday that I'm losing my tumbling. I'm like, okay. Like, I don't understand, but it kind of brought me down the rest of the tumbling class, and then I was just sucky. 
yeah, okay, so, yeah, that's all the questions, and, oh, 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 I can't forget, um, the person who requested the, me to do this video also asked me how long it took me to get my back handspring, um, okay, so, I was thinking about this this morning, I either, okay, I either started tumbling, I'm pretty sure it was May when I started tumbling, and I first got my round off back handspring in November, so that was seven months apart, but then I lost it. And I got it some other month, I can't remember when, and then I lost it again. And then I got it, I want to say August of 2011, but I'm just, I'm just like not sure that I want to say August, and I've kept it since then, which you know, apparently I'm losing it. Um, and I also want to say that I got my back handspring in August. I'm just not sure if it was... March of May. It, was e it could either be June, July, or August. Actually, it was probably June that I got my um, tumbling back. My, both my standing and my running. And my round off handspring. So, yeah, I want to say June or July. But I think, yeah, August is way too late. It's either June or July that I got my uh, round off back handspring. But again, I first got it in November. So when I first ever got it, it was took me seven months, and um, yeah, then I lost it. But like, I feel like everyone loses their tumbling once you first get it. I don't know if that happens to anyone, but it happens to me. <laughs> I don't know, but okay, yeah. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tag and request more videos. I will try to get, um, my friend to, <laughs> to record my back spring on Monday. It's, what's today? Tuesday? Yeah, today's Tuesday. So hopefully I will have a uh, back handspring video by next week and oh 856 this is like perfect so now I can go and watch the state of the union and play some bingo and okay <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later bye